Let A be a four by four matrix whose determinant is seven. Use the properties of determinants to evaluate the following. The determinant properties shown below are both valid for A and B being n by n matrices. And since our matrix A is a four by four matrix, we know n is equal to four, and we know the determinant of matrix A is equal to seven. So for the first example, we have the determinant of two A. Looking at the properties, we'll be using this last property, the determinant of C times A, where C is a constant, is equal to the constant C raised to the power of n, where again, n is determined by the dimensions of the square matrix times the determinant of matrix A. So the determinant of two A is equal to two raised to the power of n, which is four, times the determinant of A. Well, two to the fourth is equal to 16. The determinant of matrix A is equal to seven. 16 times seven is equal to 112. Next, we have the determinant of a squared, and there is no property for a squared, but we can write a squared as a times a. This is equal to the determinant of a times a, and then from here we can just use this first property. The determinant of ab is equal to the determinant of a times the determinant of b, which in our case would be the determinant of a times the determinant of a, which of course we could also write as the square of the determinant of A. Either way, we have seven times seven, which is equal to 49. Next, we have the determinant of A inverse. The determinant of A inverse is equal to one divided by the determinant of A. So we have one divided by the determinant of A, which gives us one seventh. And then finally, we have the determinant of A transpose. The determinant of A transpose is equal to the determinant of A which we are given is equal to seven. I hope you found this helpful.